It has been such a long time since we started doing this insole thing. But last week, I tried out the number two insole in that lineup of different insoles that I have to test. And after spending a week skating insole number two with these shoes, I realized they sucked. They sucked ass. We don't want to skate those. They're terrible. No. We moved on to a thicker insole, the insole number four. And this past week, I have been skating this insole number four. You can tell because the number four is all blurry now. And I've been skating down some stairs. So last Friday, we had a session with me, my homie June, and the new homie, Tyler. And we skated this set of stairs for like two hours. And it was a pretty damn good test for this insole. Skating any set of stairs is probably not going to hurt your feet, especially if it's under your head height. Like if it's not as tall as you, then chances are it's not going to be that much of a painful set of stairs. I started trying to do a Nolly tray flip down the six stair because I thought it would be an easy trick to just do. Turns out the Nolly tray flip was a lot harder for me to do this time, which is actually really good because it was a good way for me to test out this number four insult. Can we just like cut it, dude? You don't need to show a roll. They know what it looks like. I am using these Nike SB Force 58s as my shoe to try out every insole that I try in. So that way I have a control shoe for me to try the, out the insoles. Because I know that these insoles in the shoe and this outsole suck because the impact protection with these shoes was ass. That's perfect because then I can try different insoles and see which ones help me the best with well, this set of shoes. But one thing that's not going to is my laces. Put a link in the description. Well, these broke because I didn't put the laces in. After skating that set of stairs, I got some good news and I got some bad news, all right? Overall, it's pretty much just bad news. These insoles actually helped a lot. I didn't feel like I had a lot of pain in my foot after jumping down those, nor did I feel like I had to stop at any point because of impact pain. My feet felt okay. But the bad news about this situation is, is that these insoles were only skated for a week and I can see a very, very distinct imprint of my foot and my heel starting to form. I don't think that these would last very long. <laughs> Don't buy these. <laughs> not for me, not for you, not for anybody. So with that in mind, I don't think these are gonna be the ones that I'm gonna use. And I do have a few more insoles that I can test. Instead of me taking a different sample of the insoles for me to just go test for another week, let's just do the thing where these other insole companies do, where they uh, drop a bowling ball on the insole to demonstrate its impact protection and how much more their impact protection is than other companies. I got all the other insoles right here. And let's go, uh, let's go drop a bowling ball on them. Uh, number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Oh, that one sucked. Number 10. Dude. Okay, that's not great. The first one was like number one. That's what I need. That shit to happen. Well, as it turns out, these all suck. All of them suck. Number two sucks. Number five sucks. Oh, which number is this? Five again? That sucks. Number 10 also sucked. Oh, number four, we already know it. It kind of worked all right, but it sucks either way. It's freaking, they all sucked. Luckily, a couple weeks ago, I had already asked for more samples because I didn't think that any of these were gonna be good enough. Even number three, look how dense this thing is. Still, blah, bull caca. This also, this one, bull caca. After expressing to them my design and showing them that I, none of these that they had sent me that they thought were gonna work, worked, they sent me the insoles of what I actually wanted this time. A very thick foam material that will absorb all the impact. Oh man, yeah, this is nice. That will absorb all the impact, as well as on the top having a very thin gel material that is nice and comfy for you to put your little foot on. I always felt like the thick foam insole would always protect my feet really well, but I never felt like they were as comfortable as my gelin insoles, which is what this is. 
They sent me samples of the insoles with gel material on top and sample of the insoles without any gel material, but a different type of foam that I can try out. Now, I have a whole new set of numbers for me to test. I would just go and do the bowling ball thing, but I wanna skate them first if I feel that they're better and I really like them and they fail the bowling ball test. Well, as long as my feet feel good, I'm good. So it's a shame that that last batch of insoles sucked ass and I wasn't able to skate any of those, but we have a whole new set for you guys to tell me which ones to skate first. We have seven pairs for you to pick for me to skate. Because I'm gonna start skating these before this video comes out, I'm gonna start skating number five. So leave a comment for which one you want me to skate next besides number five. Because this is the one that I wanted the most. A thick foam insole with a very thin gel layer on top of the insole. So I'm gonna start skating this one, number five. And you guys let me know which one I should skate next if I don't come back to you with this is the one that I'm using. If you if you haven't uh, subscribed yet, then subscribe because there's a lot more really big things happening with this insole situation. Also more big things gonna happen soon with this situation. And I love you. Have a good time skating. Go have fun. And uh, later. And if you've watched this far, let me tell you what I'm gonna do for you. I don't, I'm not gonna be able to pay no bills. I ain't gonna be able to make no money, but 50% off. If you've watched this far, you go to extendedwear.com and you put in this promo code, I watched today. All caps. You get 50% off. Damn. I don't I can't do I can't do it. I can't do it. That's too much. It's too much to give. Nah, but you deserve it. You deserve it, and I love you for it. So, today only. So if you're watching this and came out a day later, you don't get the promo code. But if you have post notifications on, you watched it, and you're like, damn. I knew this video was coming out, so I'm watching it, and now I get 50% off. That's a that's a six dollar shoelace. You're welcome. I can't do it any more than today, though. I'm gonna run out of money. I'm gonna ah, I'm gonna have to sell the house, but it's worth it for you. Okay? I love you. Bye bye.